our favourite flat earther, CC Chris from New York, Westchester County, is back with another video rant. I'm fairly convinced that CC stands for Confused Chris. This rant is about satellites, balloons, the human body, and just about everything in between. The video is over 12 minutes long, so I'm just going to take the crazy parts and let's see if we can't help Chris with his confusion. Looking at strange things on the internet and YouTube, Chuck chases the facts. Back, 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 back. G'day, hello, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. It is very much appreciated. Yes, Chris is back making another video rant from his patient transfer bus somewhere in New York and he seems to have a bee in his bonnet about the recent news events over the Chinese balloon floating across North America. Let's see what he's got to say. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's 2-3, uh, 2023. Oh my, 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 my. Well, if people haven't woken up by now, then they're just hopeless. Um, and I'll just tell you, it's Friday, and give you a couple things to think about. Or, to put it more accurately, a couple of things to debunk you on and correct your confusion. Um, now, let me just get a quick question. If Remember, you know, China, right? Remember back in high school or... You know, if you're around my generation, China always had the cool shit, the cool gadgets, you know? They had all these neat shit. Seiko watches, Casio watches, and all that shit. These doodads that did all sorts of stuff. Uh, I remember I remember the, the boss. Do you remember the boss? Ah, yes, the boss. Made by Casio. A 64 kilobyte electronic organizer, which I remember owning in the 80s. Do you know what else I remember? I remember that Seiko and Casio are Japanese companies, not Chinese. Oops. And China had all the nice stuff. Now, when I am told that there is a balloon about 60,000 uh, feet up there and China is responsible for it with this little rinky dink like, I don't know what the sh it is. It looks like a, I don't know, camera of some sort. Ah, who knows? Guys, why aren't they putting satellites up there? As of the 1st of January 2022, it was recorded that there were 4,852 satellites orbiting the Earth. 2,944 were owned by the United States, and China owned 499. So China does have a few satellites up there. I think, I would think, that it would be much easier to launch a satellite up there and have that as a surveillance camera than to have a rinky dink balloon floating around in the stratosphere. Well, there's an oxymoron if ever I've heard one. Aisle 9, you and thinking Chris, two words that should never be used in the same sentence. Also, it is only alleged to be a surveillance balloon. Uh, the Chinese government are maintaining that the balloon is up there for weather recording. And lastly, I think you may have just debunked yourself. By saying stratosphere, does that mean that you actually believe in the stratosphere? Didn't think you flat earthers believed in that stuff. <laughs> it's because there are no f***ing satellites, you idiots. There's nothing up there. The ISS hasn't produced one picture of a satellite ever. They have a live feed. You can go on it right now if you want. Tell me if you see any satellites. No, you don't. I will try and explain this to you in very, very basic, simple language that hopefully you can understand, Chris. In order to do so, though, we need a picture. Here we are. So in the center there is obviously the Earth. The red dotted line around the Earth is the orbit of the ISS. This orbits at roughly 408 kilometers above sea level. The blue line around the Earth there is low Earth orbit, or LEO. That is where the majority of satellites orbit the Earth. 
and they orbit at approximately 2,000 kilometers above sea level. The next dotted line, the green line, is medium Earth orbit. And this is where GPS satellites orbit the Earth. And they orbit at approximately 20,000 kilometers. Now, even if the ISS had the best camera in the world with the biggest zoom, it would not be able to take a picture of a satellite 2,000 kilometers away. So why doesn't China have a satellite up there? You know, why, why, do, why don't they put something like that up there? It'd be a lot easier for them. They do, Chris. I just told you. As of the 1st of January 2022, China had 499 satellites orbiting the Earth. Do some research. Do some research. And to launch some balloon up there. But, so then you ask, what about satellite TV and, and satellite television and, and, and all this shit? Chris, even you have to be aware that the acronym for television is TV. So you just said the same thing twice. Yeah, there's shit up there, but it's up there with a balloon, you idiot. It could stay in that layer of atmosphere for months at a time. And sometimes some of these things fall out of the sky. That's right. They find them in India and in some woods somewhere. They, they fall out. There's nothing you can do. But they can control these things. All right. And that's why we've never seen a satellite launch. We've never seen a satellite being deployed. We've never seen any of that. Because there are no satellites. I am so pleased you just said that. This just proves that you fail to do any kind of research whatsoever. I found a video. It took me about 10 to 15 seconds and I have the pleasure of playing it for you. So sit back, watch and enjoy. <laughs> There is 90, or I don't know, there's I, somewhere around 90% of our brain is dormant. You know, we're only using 10 or 15% of our brain. And I know, what did you know, yeah, 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 that's funny guys, real funny. Screw off. Keep, stay asleep if you want to make jokes about that, but that's all right, but that's a fact. Again, this just shows an absolute lack of any form of research. Medicalnewstoday.com has stated that neurologist Barry Gordon, during an interview with Scientific American, stated that the majority of the brain is almost always active, and this 10% 10 thing is just a myth, and it has been debunked several times. What I will say though, is that it's quite possible that flat earthers are the only people that just use 10% of their brains. So enjoy your balloon, and where is this balloon going to be next? I have no idea. I don't know how fast things travel up there in that particular layer of atmosphere. Um, they say it's out on the west coast right now. That video that I that I put in, in the post that I uh, did last night, I believe, he, I, I forget where he said he was. It just shows how ignorant you are. First of all, you were told about this balloon, as you mentioned early in the video. And now you're saying that you were sent a video by somebody, which you put on your post. And you're saying that it's on the West Coast. It was never seen on the West Coast. It was first seen over Billings in Montana, then in Kansas, then in Missouri. And as of the making of this video, it was shot down yesterday by the US Air Force um, off the coast of South Carolina. Well, anyway, NORAD, that's that's our intelligence agency, right? <laughs> yeah, NORAD's also the, the, the idiots that track Santa Claus, too. So you see how well our money's going, to. Oh, it's being well spent, of course. they got to track Santa Claus. Hey, there's Santa Claus. He's right over California right now. 
this failed attempt at sarcasm really pissed me off. NORAD has been tracking Santa since 1955, when a young child accidentally called the Continental Air Defense Command uh, in Colorado Springs. The duty commander answered the phone and reassured the child that Santa was indeed on his way. He also ordered any further phone calls to be answered and dealt with, and hence a tradition was uh, started. The Department of Defense has stated that this is one of the largest community outreach programs ever. It reports Santa's location to millions of children and their families every December 24th. The program is predominantly run by volunteers. The government does chip in, but also so do corporate businesses. And these volunteers answer on average 130,000 phone calls every year from children all over the globe. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I've just realized this video is over 11 minutes. I didn't want it to be that long. I have cut a lot of stuff out and there is a little bit more to come, maybe a separate video. Anyway, if you did get this far, thank you very much for watching. If you did like the video, if you would be so kind as to click the thumbs up button, uh, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. And also down here in the corner somewhere, there is an icon that will help you to subscribe to the channel. And please don't forget to click the bell and that will give you notifications of uh, videos in the future. So once again, thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next video. G'day.